Hello and welcome to another modelling video. This is Alan from the Makoto Man at YouTube with another modelling video. Today we're going to look at the Gaia Note Evo Surfacer. Uh, this is an oxidised brown colour and is commonly used for painting armour, vehicles, half tracks, anything of a military mechanical nature. Guy Note is uh, celebrated and well known as a high quality lacquer range of paints with um, quite a massive selection of uh, colours and some additives, thinners and whatnot. Uh, the surfacer range I haven't used before and picked it up uh, in Sydney about six years ago for uh, something to uh, paint my armour kits with. I am aware that Mr. Hobby also has uh, a similar coloured product on the market. Being compatible with uh, all lacquer thinners and Mr. Hobby lacquer products, I put a few drops of Mr. Hobby retardant and about 50-50 paint to lacquer thinner. Stirred thoroughly and I uh, did the bubble jet technique which uh, got the perfect mixture to apply via an airbrush. Uh, PSI was uh, set under 20. So our primer does not have any putty or micro filler added into it so it's not going to fill any gaps or imperfections. If you wish to do that on your armor kit you may want to hit it with uh, a Mr. Hobby micro filler then this on top. But uh, being quite smooth, you need to make sure to thin it down just right and uh, dust it on very lightly. It uh, shouldn't cause any uh, funny texturing or orange peel. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, though compared to the Mr. Hobby range, it is very smooth, but uh, takes longer to dry. I found uh, the surface wasn't um, scratch resistant until about the third day after application. After that, it's uh, quite a strong finish. The uh, colour is quite beautiful and very vibrant. I've already painted a few armour kits with this. And uh, as you can see in the last few armour reviews, can't complain at all. Etches to bare plastic absolutely perfectly. Though I am sceptical of using it on uh, metals and resins. Uh, resins, you probably want to buff up the material a bit with uh, sandpaper. Metals, always uh, a metal or an etch primer. Uh, this will not exactly cut it. All in all, after its uh, initial use, it applies beautifully like a paint or Mr. Hobby 1500 uh, primers. No argument whatsoever. Highly recommended as a decent product. Also with its uh, fairly large quantity um, of how thick and how much paint you can mix out it, nice uh, rust colour or an undercoat for uh, salt weathering or any other sort of uh, mask uh, weathering to produce a rust effect. I've uh, already done that a few times and fairly pleased with this and mixing some other browns or shading other browns on top. All in all, thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time, stay tuned for more product reviews, uh, tutorials, and kit reviews. Catch you guys next time.